Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever in the world you are. I am in Adana, Turkey. Um, and today is not such a nice day because the sun is not out yet. Although it's already 12.25 in the afternoon. Uh, okay, so the video I'm making today is um, regarding my traveling. Because some of you have asked how I managed to support myself on my travels. For those who don't know, I've been traveling with my husband for the past eight years around the world. The first three plus years we used, we traveled by motorbike, but since 2019, we've been traveling by a four by four. So my husband, um, there's a lot of uh, talks on his perspective and experience of this journey. Uh, I don't really do that because, because I don't. But uh, I did one video uh, a few months back about visas and COVID protocols, uh, which got very good response. And a lot of people sent some questions, which is good. Please keep the questions going because when there's questions, then I know how to address the question because I don't know what to talk about my journey because to me this is not traveling around the world to me this is just living my life but living it in different countries in the world because I still do the usual thing that I would have done if I was in my home so okay so first of all before I started the trip I was self-employed. I owned my own business. Uh, well, business is one business. is called the Celesta Studio of Performing Arts, where I specialize in jazz dance as a performing art and also as ballet. But with this uh, company, I also do anything pertaining to performing arts, and it has to be educational, artistic, and entertaining. So I would work on show productions, dance productions. I would do teaching, teachers training courses, anything pertaining to arts education and, and uh, entertainment. Okay, and because I, have, I am the examiner or, and assessor of the Celesta Studio of Performing Arts Jazz Dance Syllabus, so this was one of my main functions in the business. Then I also have uh, my Celestial Care business, which is it's mainly an online business. And also uh, because I work from home with that business. And with that business, I am in wellness and skin care. So under wellness, what I do is I sell products. And I also have a few uh, courses that I teach and also classes that I give. And with the skincare, same thing, I sell products. I do training and I, I provide training and I also provide um, the service. So for the first leg of our journey, um, it was easy for me to work because every country we went to, I would approach dance schools, so I would go and teach physically. I would approach beauty salons or just clients, people that I meet, and I would uh, service them like with uh, skin care, doing facials, and also um, teaching my uh, fitness classes, fitness and wellness. Because under fitness, I teach exercise, like uh, Love Your Joints, which is exercises that is geared mainly well, only for the joints and the muscles surrounding the joints. And then I do the best to rest equals distress or love, be loved with, uh, be touched and loved with essential oils, um, which again is a, a, a wellness class. And um, I, with the skin care, I will do acne treatment facials and uh, anti-aging facials and I would also then sell the products to these people and 
those days it was very easy to do this work because I could, there was no COVID, so I could do it one on one with people. And uh, when I did the, the training, I, you know, it would be in groups. And everything was just face to face. Uh, also, um, but as the assessor, assessor and examiner of the Celesta Studio of Performing Arts Jazz Dance Syllabus, these uh, were the only, uh, the, this was the only work that I actually did online because the assessments and exams would happen in Malaysia and I am wherever I am, so it would be conducted online. Uh, coming back to the wellness and the skin care, this was also very easy before COVID because if I did run out of products, it was very easy for me to just uh, fly products in from Malaysia because at that time DHL and all the FedEx and all that was still reasonable. Okay, um, but that was just this kind of this income is was to to support myself, which means just my own everyday care things like my toiletries or things I like to buy for myself. But I am very fortunate that everything else pertaining to the to the, the, the trip, my husband pays for that. I don't pay anything. Okay, then COVID hit and psh, everything stopped. Not only did everything stop, but everything, oh, the people upstairs, sorry, their tap was open. I just heard it stop now. The COVID uh, everything stopped because, you know, everybody was paranoid. No one knew what was going on, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Which was strange because I am selling products which is for health and wellness. So I thought this would be a good time to do that. So I focused mainly on that. And um, I also then really started working very hard on becoming a content, a social media content creator. But it is very hard to be a social media content creator because, or, and even to sell products, because maybe you, you have a good product, people can see the result is good, but that doesn't mean they wanna buy it. So this is what I started to experience. And my money, my income started getting lower and lower and lower and then zero. Although I was still putting out content and still trying to sell products. But of course, life is like that. But like I say, fortunately, I have my husband who supports me. And then also uh, the only debt I have is my policy in Malaysia, my insurance policy. So, whew. so that's why I'm actually doing this video because like I say, people have asked and I also want people to be aware of what happens when you travel because I know a lot of you watch Zaino, who is my husband. They watch his, uh, they follow him on Facebook and they go to his talks. He is in a different situation than what I am. And those who follow him will know why he is. I am not. I am just fortunate that I am his wife. But even still as his wife, I cannot depend 100% on him financially because first of all, it's not fair. Second of all, uh, it's not good for my self-esteem. And um, third, because although he supports me, I am used to a certain lifestyle and a certain income and I still would like to maintain that. And in order to do that, I need to earn my own income. But anyway, as I was saying, so COVID was bad for me because I had no income at all. Okay, now since COVID in most countries, it's like kind of non-existent. Um, I've started going online. I've been trying to, to teach all my classes online. I will link all the the information about this down down uh, down below um, 
because you can follow me on Instagram. I always advertise there. You can join my Facebook groups if you want and where I conduct the classes. And um, so the classes that I teach, I, I teach my dance teachers course. I don't teach the, just the, the, the regular student. I only teach dance teachers courses. Very slow in the uptake. It's happening, but very slow. And then all my fitness classes, also very slow, but uh, one student here, two students there. Uh, it's okay. At least a little bit of money is coming in. And then, of course, I have the skincare courses and classes. But mainly, I am trying to push the products, selling my products, because with the products, um, if it's not easy to, I mean, it's easier to sell the products because, you know, products, you can, you are, it's online. Um, the only thing with the products, okay, now the Azan has started, so sorry about that. Um, okay, I just closed the window, so I don't think it's that loud, but I'm in Turkey, and in Turkey, this happens five times a day. It doesn't matter what city you are in, and it is extremely loud, so... Unless you have a studio, you cannot run away from it. And I don't have a studio. I'm not, you can see my subscriptions in YouTube. I don't have many people, uh, many subscribers. Okay, so what was I talking about? Selling products. Yes, so selling the products is what I'm trying mainly to do. Um, for me, it's hard. Other people, it's very easy. Like my friend just yesterday sold over 10,000 ringgits worth of products. Me? For the past six months, I sold two. Same product. Anyway. Uh, but this is online business, I guess. Okay, and then, like I said, with my social media content, um, it's also very slow, I think. Because well, mainly I can see my videos don't get shared, but it's because I do controversial content. People are not interested in contro controversial content. So, because, like I say, people asked about how I make money, so I'm just being honest with you. I don't make money. In fact, it's very hard for me. But thank God I have my husband who supports me. But my advice to anyone who's going to go traveling, you have to have income. And it is best to have Passive income, so if you are a writer and you get royalties or some kind of passive income from whatever you do, it's in, from investment or whatever, that is the best way to go. Second best would be you have to have an online job, whether it's teaching English or teaching whatever, but it, you must make sure that it brings in income, like I think teaching English is the easiest because you can just join some organization and uh, I'm not interested in that because uh, I don't know, I'm just not interested in teaching other people's children English. Okay, um, or other people. Uh, there's just too many of too many foreigners in the world doing that and I just don't want to fall in that category. But um, so my advice would be passive income and get some kind of online job where you can make income. Uh, I know a lot of people that I've met, they are web designers and stuff that are traveling. A lot of them are English as a second language teacher, teachers and others are um, writers. You know, they do blogs and blogs and they write for magazines and newspapers and all that. So I'm not a writer, I cannot do that. I met a few are YouTube, YouTube uh, uh, content creators, but they do about their travel, you know, which is a lot of work. It's very hard work. Um, if I was alone, I would do it, but I'm with my husband. I cannot do it because I have, you know, he has his plans and then I cannot be having to work if he has other plans because it's a full-time job. You have to put out content every day, all the time, and you have to be in the right place to get, to get it done, etc. 
and then the other thing was um, an influencer. There are a lot of in Instagram influ influencers, and I've noticed those who travel. If you're a woman, if you are not selling your Instagram influence influencing uh, gig with being sexy, it's not going to sell. I looked at so many uh, Instagrammers, women who are travelers, and their content is always very sexy. They're always in bikinis and posing from corner to corner and wearing fantastic clothes and having to go to all the, taking pictures in all these beautiful, fantastic places. And yeah, so if you are up to that kind of thing, you can make a lot of money. Because all you need to do is have some nice clothes and go and go to some fancy restaurant and just pose around or be a, next to the, the, the pool or at the beach in a swimsuit. So that is just my advice if you want to travel. And when you travel, you have to have income. You have to have a monthly income because also when you apply for visas, this is very important. Um, for me, like I say, I'm trying things. They're not working. Fortunately, I have my husband who can support me, but that means then that I cannot have long hair because it, my kind of hair costs money to, when it's long to maintain it. So uh, the kind of clothes I like to wear, I cannot do that anymore. I like high heels. I like to eat in nice restaurants. I love my high teas. I love cocktail hours, which are things which I normally would pay with my own money, but now I can't, so I don't do all those things. It's just you have to sacrifice. So thank you for that person who asked this question. Um, you asked that I don't mention your name, so that's fine. But thank you so much for asking that question. And again, if anybody has any more questions, please ask and I will let you know. Thank you and have a good day.